all right so in the last video in this uh, channel we talked about uh, how we can use uh, rlm to rewrite the user query and then retrieve better documents and once we retrieve more documents then we will pass it to a cross encoder to re-rank those documents right so the last video was about uh, rewriting the query and generating different variations of the input query or the user query now in, so in this video i wanted to talk about a different approach which is hypothetical document retriever where uh, the user comes with a query now you send that query uh, to the llm to generate a hypothetical answer. So once the hypothetical answer is generated, then what you do is you add the query to the hypothetical answer and then you generate the embedding using an embedding model. So instead of sending only the query to the vector DB, what we are doing is we are embedding the queries, uh, query and also the hypothetical answer that we generated using a LLM call, right? And then we kind of ask the question for semantic similarity using the vector db and we retrieve the documents right so the idea behind this is to not only we send a query so that query can be limited to a vector space so what we can do is we can also generate a hypothetical answer for that question using a llm call then we embed the answer to the uh, then we add the answer to the question and then we embed uh, that whole thing and then we do the semantic uh, similarity on the vector db and retrieve the documents right the so the main idea is uh, so if you are only sending the question so the question is like this right which is a very small space in the vector space where the, all the embeddings of the documents are present right so what we do is we also generate a hypothetical answer or a document and then we also embed that right so with this, we will have a larger space in the vectors uh, database or the vector space to retrieve the document and which we are hoping and which is most of the times would retrieve the better uh, documents using this hypothetical uh, document embedding, right? So I hope you uh, got this concept. Like in the last video, we, we were generating the different variation of the input questions. And in this one, we are generating a hypothetical answer, then adding that answer to the question to generate embedding and then doing the vector search, right? Now let's uh, see how this is implemented in terms of the code. Okay, now let's go through how the, this is done in terms of code. So first of all, you need to install this BS4 library because I am using a web-based loader to crawl this url and this url talks about a blog post which is talking about how the llm agent works right so once i have crawled this using this web-based loader then i'm creating a blog docs which is nothing but the doc that we will uh, chunk and store in the vector db right so once we have the document then we are uh, creating a text splitter using this um, recursive character text splitter and after that we are creating the splits using this text splitter so once the splits are created we will embed this uh, to the vector db so for that i am using bg embeddings uh, for creating the embeddings and once that is initialized the embedding model then what we are doing is we are uh, storing in this documents to the vector store right so there also we need to pass the splits as well as the embedding model so after that we are um, creating a retriever so using this vector store so this is like uh, regular stuff which we have been doing for long right so after that i'm initializing the llm which is nothing but a together api uh, llm model initialization from this utils files so which I have been using uh, for the last few videos in this series. And after that, I am creating. So the first step is to create the hypothetical document or the answer based on the question, right? So, so uh, for that, I'm creating a prompt ID, which is nothing but a prompt, which has a template, which tells you that uh, please write a concise passage to answer the question. So there I'm passing the question also. And then using this uh, Langchain chat prompt template, I am formatting this template and creating this uh, prompt ID, right? So once that is created, then I am 
creating a chain which will uh, generate the hypothetical document or answer based on the user question. So where I am chaining the prompt ID, then the LLM, and then in the end, we also have a parser, which is nothing but string output parser, right? So then I'm uh, initializing the question. So the question is, what is the task decomposition for LLM agent, right? So using this question, I am asking LLM to generate a answer which we will treat as a hypothetical document or a hypothetical answer right so once i do this uh, chain dot invoke and pass my question it is generating a hypothetical answer right so this is a process to create a chain for retrieving the hypothetical answer using a llm call so once that is done what we will do is uh, we will create another chain, which is nothing but a retriever chain. So where we are passing this hypothetical document or answer along with the retriever, right? So using this hypothetical question, uh, hypothetical answer along with the question, it will retrieve the relevant documents using the vector uh, store, right? So this is the retrieved documents. So where we can see like four document has been retrieved using this hypothetical answer along with the question. Right. So which will act as a context for the uh, rag chain. Right. So after that, I'm creating the regular rag chain where I am uh, creating a template at first, like answer the following question based on the context. Right. So this context is nothing but this retrieve doc docs. Right. So this retrieve docs is again using this another chain, which is generate docs for retriever, which will act as a generation of the hypothetical document. Right. So once that is done, so I'm creating a final rack chain where I'm passing the prompt, then the LLM and then a output parser. Right. So here you can see like for the context, uh, I am passing this retrieve docs. Right. So this retrieve docs is nothing but a, a better retrieval using the hypothetical document along with the question. So we are kind of combining uh, all these chains to create this context. So once the context is generated, then we are passing the question to get better retrieval using this uh, ID approach, right? And then we are getting this uh, answer for this particular question. So you can see like task decomposition is a process in LLM agent systems where complex tasks are broken into smaller and manageable tasks. Then the further details, right? So with this, I hope you got the concept like where we are uh, giving better context to the retrieving the uh, better uh, documents using this approach, right? So with this, I will end this video. Uh, thank you. See you in the next video.